On the subject of nervousness, uh, this is something that every guitarist goes through. Does it does it get much better after you've been uh, performing for a while? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, you can't predict when you're going to get nervous. Uh, what I like to do is play concerts on a tour. Then it becomes a routine, and I don't even think about being nervous. I really enjoy playing. But I hate when you have one concert by itself, and that's what you know poor students have to go through. That's the worst experience. But suddenly all your friends, your family, your teachers out there, and it's much easier to play for 20,000 people. <laughs> I mean, that's been my experience. Hmm. When I was doing those light tours, I never used to get nervous, and yet playing for 50 people in a lit room, you know, those early student days, that's agony. Mm. So it does get better in that um, you get just a little more used to it, and your concerts get uh, you know, more clustered together, and then mm -hmm. you don't get as uptight. But the, the best concerts for me are the ones where I'm not even thinking fingers or notes, and uh, somewhere I'm, I'm almost out of, out of myself, just watching the music, having it flow through me. That doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it's a real peak experience for mm -hmm. me. Um, it, it's just hard to predict. Sometimes I feel I'm totally prepared, and yet you still feel more uptight. Mm -hmm. And when I get nervous, I don't get like shaky nervous or anything like that. I just don't put any expression into my playing. <laughs> and I always feel badly if somebody's heard one of my concerts where I, I have been. They think, you know, I look so relaxed, but I just don't play with the same expression. And when I've been on a whole tour and playing night after night, I play a hundred times better. Mm. Just with more general expression. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not thinking about where the fingers go, I'm just thinking pure music. Mm -hmm. And I always feel I'm more uptight about a piece that I haven't played before when I'm giving its first performance. Mm -hmm. Then I'm thinking, let's see, this finger goes here. And, you know, I, my best playing is when I'm not even aware of what my fingers are doing. Mm -hmm. I always try and spend a few minutes just alone, just quietly meditating before I go on the stage, making sure the guitar is in tune. And then when I do that, I just sit there and close my eyes and relax and just uh, get very, very concentrated. Um, and sometimes I worry, is the sound right? If I'm using a microphone, is that going to be the right level? Um, are the strings going to stay in tune? Are my hands warm enough? I use a hot water bottle to warm my hands mm -hmm. with before I go on. Mm -hmm. But generally, just try to be very calm before. I hate getting to a concert late and always rushing around. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's uh, something I, I make sure I arrive in plenty of time. Well, I'd met Lenny uh, through Chet Atkins, who was like a father figure to Lenny and known him for years and years. And the first time I was playing in Knoxville and, and Chet brought Lenny along and they heard the show that I'd done with Gordon Lightfoot. And consequently, when I was in Nashville recording, or just I used to pass through there quite often on tour, I met Lenny several times and uh, he would always say, now, play this piece. He'd say, like, man, how do you do those chords? And I mean, he was incredible with his use of harmonics and everything, but I always remember this one technique that I'd actually learned from Lagoya, you know, the two-string trill. And anyway, Lenny was like, wow, teach me this. So I taught him how to do it, and he was using it in all his pieces there. And in fact, Chet Atkins still calls it the Leona lick. I suppose it's really the Lagoya lick. But, and he uses it in a lot of his, uh, his arrangements. And I just found Lenny was such an original player, and, uh, always wanting to learn new things and uh, just such a wonderful relaxed laid-back style of playing i really used to love listening to him play and he could just improvise around anything i mean i don't know how to play in that style and i always marvel people that can just pick it up and play anything so you know he was really an inspiration to me he was really very great loss to the guitar world it's very sad and uh so it was just a week after i heard that, that lenny had died that i wrote that piece shadows of the wind Every time I play it, I was think of Lenny, wish she was still here with us. This is the two string trill. So P A I M. So Chet uses it or Lenny. If you use a 
it like in harpsichord music on back instead of instead oh, of I the see. Segovia oh, way see. of doing it right. really. And often I lift the. Uh, I use that a lot in uh, Baroque music, but I say the way Lenny uses it is he used to do arpeggios and things right. using that same P A I M. Uh, this is a Yamaha guitar that they made for me uh, about three years ago. It's actually got a little countryman mic in it now because mm -hmm. we're playing with my group. Right. But uh, it's the one I did the Leona Live in Tokyo album on, oh, and it seems to have stood up quite well in the weather. It's still a little soggy sounding after India. It's very humid over there. But it's, it's a very uh, nice guitar. I, uh, it's a nicely balanced instrument. It's very similar to Ramirez. I've been using mm -hmm. Ramirez guitars for many years, too. Is, what is your, your main uh, guitar right now, the one that, that you... Uh, I'm using want? so many different... Oh, are you I had a special little alto guitar made that mm -hmm. I'm using to play some Latin American music on, mm -hmm. and also some lute music. Mm -hmm. um, it's tuned a fifth higher, and it's a beautiful, crisp, clean sound. So mm -hmm. I'm playing that. I'm also playing horrors of horrors, uh, some electric classical guitar mm -hmm. that I use in my shows um, for some of the more popular music. Um, and playing, you know, I have several Yamaha guitars that they've made me, mm -hmm. and also about five Ramirez guitars. I never really plan out, you know, what direction my career is taking. I know I'm going to be continuing to write music. I know I'll be playing guitar. I'll never give up classical guitar. But you may see me uh, joining forces with other musicians. I'm planning to do a record with Zamfir, pan flute player, mm -hmm. which would be a really wonderful album to do. Um, who knows? I would like to record some of the things I've written for guitar and orchestra. I mm -hmm. think that would be a, a valuable contribution to the guitar world. But I never would have thought a few years ago that I would be playing with Yo-Yo Ma and Eric Clapton, so <laughs> I just don't know. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Say hi to Segovia.